come back to Romany Pirates with a boat that never seems to sail. So what we're doing first is just going around all the rust um, with red oxide, which is a rust preventative thing, paint. Um, so that we can then obviously go and paint the back of the boat black. We don't just want to paint it black without it because it is a bit rusty. So we've got some red oxide primer if anybody uh, is into uh, preventing rust, that's what you need. We're so technical on this channel, aren't we? We're so technical, full of technical information for you. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to open it. <laughs> <laughs> You've painted it shut, it won't open. Oh, oh I've got it. <laughs> oh. I'm really worried then because the hammer's inside the boat. I thought I'm not going to be able to open it. Oh, now these are <laughs> shut now. Oh, do you know? It's all a trauma, isn't it? It's all a trauma, this boat life business. So if you sat there wondering what on earth is going on here, welcome to the party, welcome to Romany Pirates. You'll need to watch last week's episode to find out uh, what we're doing and why we're painting a boat. <laughs> so go watch that, go watch last week's episode after this one or watch it before, whatever. And uh, and then you'll be sort of brought up to speed with uh, what we're doing, won't they? And more importantly, why we're painting it black <laughs> in Red Hot Sun. Yeah, find out why we're painting it black. Um, so yeah, go watch that, and uh, yeah, I better crack on because I'm just I'm making excuses. Here. I'm stood here with a camera while poor Emma's painting away. So I'm gonna put the camera down. Let's get some work done. So my job for today is to paint this roof brown. Uh, apparently, Emma's just mixing up the paint for me. And then, uh, yeah, this will all be brown. And then all these side bits here are all going to be done in uh, like a wood. So we're going to clad it all out, make it like a real pirate ship. Good, isn't it? So I just had to stop there. I said to Emma, oh, my dreadlocks, the paint's going to go and ruin my dreadlocks. So uh, she's put me in a plastic bag lock to protect them. <laughs> All the uh, all the roof painted now. Um, it looks great. It looks a lot cleaner. Um, so we're just going to pack up now. Head back to the van. Uh, it's absolutely shattered. It's been a full day working. Emma's just tidying up down there. It's been one of them days where it looks like you've not done very much, even though you've been working all day, because um, it's just fiddly little jobs. So I've kind of done the in painted the inside of these um, side opening doors. Um, and all the edges inside, I can't open them because it uh, takes a lot of faffing to reopen them again. But all that's been sort of finished off. Um, and then uh, given a coat of red oxide all over the back of the boat um, and a coat of red uh, black paint as well. Um, and into the weed hatch as well, we've done the red oxide and that needs some bitumen in the weed hatch. So that's going to be done next time. The doors, um, done the doors, just got a bit of edging to do, but it all needs a second coat, does this back bit. Um, but we're getting there, um, we're getting there. You, you look like you've made way more progress than me, because you did all that roof inside, didn't you? You've done it all in brown, you can actually see the results of what you've done. Mine feels a little bit like I've just been working on that tiny little bit. <laughs> Well, after a very exhausting day, I am so worn out today. I just I can't do anymore. I'm literally worn out. I know, me too. It's been a long, it's been a long hard day. Like, and I just Emma, you you quite like this DIY stuff. Don't I you? do, but I just can't do what I used to be able to do. And so, what would have taken me an hour, two hours years ago, now takes me a full day, and it's just a bit demotivating. You get a bit fed up. You get frustrated with yourself and. You know, and I, and I get frustrated that I get so exhausted so quickly um, and I just feel really, really worn out today. So we're going to get back down again at some point this week, but um, knowing what I'm like when I hit this point, I'll probably end up sort of spending a few days where I literally can't do anything. Yeah, I think we're going um, to head we're gonna head off in the van. We're going to find a park up for the night now and then we're going to go, we're gonna go exploring. Let's, let's take you on a journey. <laughs> Have a bit of adventure. I absolutely just hate anything to do with painting or DIY or anything. I just, I just don't like it. 
Right, I'm putting a smile on my face, look. <laughs> crack on with it get it done the sooner it's done the sooner we can do the fun bits yeah we'll have a bit of resting in between her now yeah yeah let's uh let's take them on an adventure pack your bags so we've come up to a place called helmsley uh, to pick up a few little bits and pieces for the boat that emma's seen on facebook um so and then we're going to head from here um over to pick up uh, what's going to be the biggest purchase i think that we've made not expense wise but size wise yeah definitely for the boat that's going to be it's going to finish it's going to look absolutely epic um so while we're here we're just going to have a look around helmsley which is a place where we used to come in it yeah, before we used before to come, youtube yeah. yeah we used to, it's one of the first places that we used to come because you can't actually park in the car park here and sleep overnight but round the corner and um, they've got like a purpose sort of yeah. area that's been developed can. for you to park up in like a woodland um and it's really good it's really easy to park up there <coughs> and we've even been up there with tents with kids and stuff haven't we as well yeah, it's, it's just free it's not it doesn't cost it's anything. just uh, it's just up the road um and the car park behind as well welcomes motorhomes as well um so you've kind of got both we'll show you where we go because that's a really good park up um and just around the back of the car park here you can actually park there overnight but we'll show you if you're around helmsley and that area it's sort of thirst helmsley in north yorkshire they're all beautiful places We'll show you where where we park because it is a purpose built by the forestry commission i think yeah it is yeah um so it's really nice um, yeah it's brilliant but you'll you'll just laugh at us when you actually see our large purchase you won't believe what we've bought <laughs> alan will love it you'll love it alan yes, you Uh, spotted a little cafe that we came to years ago that's really nice so we just stopped here um we we're getting stung by a wasp last time we came yeah there, loads of, loads of <laughs> <laughs> there were loads of wasps and we couldn't eat us dinner so and we, we need to stop off and have a cup of tea now because my nerves it's a, a dog's just tried to attack daisy um and it really meant it as well like an hour on my own um because reese were like wandering around doing something um, and it just really big dog um, and so I've had to stand in front of her in pram um, and I thought it was going to bite my bum <laughs> but luckily it didn't but she didn't have control of it in owner so I'm a bit shaky now she'll come and have a sugary cup of tea I think Agents of the other Beyond gravel, beyond all our little things for the boat now we're just going to head up into the forest and have some dinner are we? i don't <laughs> know what we're having is it a surprise it's lemon meringue cake i just know it is no it's not ah. no cake i told you in the budget no cake <laughs> so this place we're going to show you now is a place we've uh, it's been one of our stopping places for years hasn't it this? yeah and it's really I'll cool the camera then because daisy because that dog's barked at her is now getting in there first and uh, she's barking at literally every dog that we walk past. <coughs> I think it's frightened, do not it? Yeah, it's frightened, I think, definitely. It's the, that pr the pram has saved her though, hasn't it? And we've, you know, we, we had a dog, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we had a dog before, um, a little chihuahua, a um, little brown short-haired chihuahua called Monty. Um, and it were unfortunately killed um, by um, a dog that were visiting um, one of our neighbours back at the, um, years ago. Um, and it was right in front of us and it was really traumatic for the pair of us um, and Daisy kind of really saved us from that but when I got her um, that's part of the reason as well of, of having her in the pram as well as lots of other yeah, reasons yeah it's, it's, fright, it's frightened us I can keep her safe do yeah. you know because um, <clears throat> it was it was that traumatic basically we'd both gone to the doctors I'd gone to the doctors and now we're in the right mess with yeah, both of them really we? really hard to deal with the hardest really, thing I've ever dealt with just crying and crying and crying for weeks and weeks and I went to the doctor and I said I'm not coping and the doctor said, oh, well, you know, I can give you both something, you know, to, or I can send you for counselling for trauma. He says, but honestly, he said, if you love dogs that much, he said, the best way to deal with this he said, is to love another one. He said, not to replace Monty, he said, but to, um, to, just, to just, you know, put that love into another dog. And that's when we got Daisy.
So I'm absolutely gutted. We've just come back here and it's saying no overnight parking. I don't know why they do this. I'm totally gutted at I can't that. believe it. I can't believe it. Why Why do they do it? I don't understand why they don't let people that are in vans stay. They were always spotless for this place. You'd have three or four camper vans every night. You could stay for a couple of nights and then and then move on. They're just stopping us from parking everywhere. And, and it's got equal. like designated spots as you go around. You know, lots of people know this area and it's got like designated spots as you're going around where you can pull your van in, um, you know, and it, nobody has ever, as far as I'm aware, ever abused it. It's, you know, every time we've ever come up, we used to come here regularly, didn't we? Mm -hmm. It's like Reese says, it's always been spotless. Um, and here's, here's the thing, oh. if anybody from the Forestry Commission or whatever is watching, is that when we come here, if there is litter, it's always cleaner when, when we've been, because we go around with a litter picker and yeah. we tidy the place up. And, and a lot of van lifers do that. A lot of people do that. Um, you know, we're going out in vans with the full-time, part-time, like us, we take it with us a litter picker. We take the other week when we stayed out um, near, where were we? Near that, um, oh, I can't remember where we were now. Anyway, we'd stayed out near some kind of army site or something. Um, and we, you know, we'd we'd gone round like we do every time we're out. We, we're picking up litter, um, you know, and we'd collected over two bags full, didn't mm -hmm. we? Two bin liners full. Um, because you don't want the animals getting into anything like that, you know. And if local councils and things like that are watching, you, you're driving people away from yeah. your towns. You and know, it's not, it's not van lifers. It's not people staying over in vans that are causing this. It's it's you. It's other people that are coming up through the day and leaving the litter and then going. It's definitely not van no, lifers. Not it's, from our experience. Not from our experience. Definitely not. And it's it's a real kind of shame, you know, that because we we love we go into towns as you see. We'll always buy a coffee. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we might go buy something from the shops and, and everybody that we know um, that's kind of, you know, true people, like true van lifers, if you like, people that either do it full time or part time, but actually, you know, travel around in their van. It's a regular thing for them to do, especially, you know, when you get people that are a bit of alternative lifestyle and things like that. They love to go and look in new villages and, you know, we'll spend money locally. It's just such a shit. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm totally gutted. I'll show you how beautiful this is. So you have individual spots which were originally set up. So this is uh, this is like one of the spaces, completely out of the way, absolutely harming nobody at all. Um, just a quiet night no trouble at all up here unfortunately what that now means is that we will we probably won't come up to helmsley again which then affects the town it affects the village for all the van lifers you know because it, it tracks a lot of people obviously into the the local villages and the towns and stuff um and we just it, we won't we won't come here which is such a shame such a shame anyway let's uh let's not let it spoil it we are gonna make some dinner now get daisy some dinner uh, probably go for a little walk show you around the forest a little bit maybe and uh, yeah, find somewhere else to sleep for the night, but first let's get some dinner. So what Daisy does is she likes to throw a ball out at Van, it's a little game she plays, and then you pick it back up for her, and she throws it back out, don't you? Daisy, where's your ball? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? What's this? What's this? <laughs> Do you want your dinner? Do you want your ding ding? Daisy, do you want your dinner? Yeah, get you some din din. Look at that. It's like a five star restaurant in the forest. In the darkness of the forest, a flickering light. Could it be a fairy dancing in the night? The whisper of the trees, what do they say? Autumn is near, I think, as they start to sway. Decade after decade, they stand tall, forever strong. Listen to the wind move, it is their sacred song. The forest is silent, a cold chill, nothing moves. Then out through the trees, the true spirit with her hooves. The little deer watches, alert and senses high. The spirit of the forest, this is my home, is her cry. We stay for a while, but not too long. Leave no trace to keep the forest strong. Back home, recharge from the sacred fuel. Back home for now to where the bricks rule. Oh, it feels great to be back out in the forest, back into some nature. Just makes you feel great, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. <clears throat> Being out in nature and in the forest. Getting some uh, some lovely emails off people. Um, and we love to hear your, you know, your stories, as we always say. And I got a lovely, lovely email um, off one of our viewers. Um, 
and uh, and it was just lovely. Um, this person was going through, um, I was going through a bit of a difficult situation, and uh, as I know, quite a few of you are that you've told us, um, and you've said that uh, that we kind of make you smile and, and that you look forward to watching us and did all something. We were both saying, weren't we, like how that just makes it all worthwhile. Like, oh, it does definitely. You know, and just keep up the hope and keep up the dreams. You know, everything comes eventually. You know, we weren't. It does. We always tell you we're not born into having a load of money and being able to do loads of stuff. We, we struggle every day still financially and stuff like that. But just keep going, keep hoping, keep dreaming and keep planning. And it comes together, doesn't it? it Unless you does. want cake and then you can't have it. <laughs> we are, we are going to go find another park up now because we can't stop here. They don't want us. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want us. We're not allowed. <laughs> not allowed. No, no pirates allowed here. <laughs> So just before we set off, I forgot to show you these. My stepson Faz bought uh, bought them for Father's Day. It's Uncle Albert, Rodney, and Delboy from On Fools and Horses, and they let legs wobble when you're driving. <laughs> so it's really good. And my mum bought me that little uh, VW camper van. So we're looking really pleased with ourselves because we've literally driven out of that driveway and literally opposite where it says no parking, no no overnight parking, there's a nice stretch of lay-by. <laughs> so we've literally, literally, I bet if we've gone 10 seconds, I'm exaggerating. Yeah, so the forestry land is just out there. I'm going to, I'm going to show Don't you, I'm going to, I'm going to show them how far we've come. Hang on. So we are parked here for the night and that sign just there is, uh, is the entrance to where you can't park. So we've got nice, nice long stretch of lay by there. No signs whatsoever saying we can't park, so we are gonna uh, sleep here for the night. Happy days. Yeah, this is all right. There's lots of cars whizzing past, as you can uh, see. But as the, uh, the evening goes on, it's not half past seven now, so as the evening goes on, that'll, uh, that'll quieten down. It'll be a nice quiet night's sleep. Good morning. Good morning. It was a good night's sleep, that wasn't it? Yeah, we're alright. We're a bit, van were a bit shaky, weren't we? Yeah, traffic, a couple of times at night. They weren't too bad. The cars sort of quietened down during the night a little bit, but every time one went past, it kind of like shook the van. You do <laughs> get used more. to it though, don't you? We're going to have to get used to it if we're going to be sleeping on a boat sometimes. Yeah, well, get used to that. Rocking. <laughs> rocking. Oh, gutty dog. So I woke up this morning and there were one of those red kite birds of prey literally in front of the van. Um, so I grabbed the camera, but it, it flew off as I went to shoot it. So I was absolutely gutted we about that. We always miss those shots. I know, we missed don't. another one, didn't we? We were down in Cornwall and one were literally like on a post as we went on this corner. And I was like, get my camera! And she was like, gone. It's gotta be, gotta be quick. I'm um, not fast enough. <laughs> so we're gonna, today we are gonna head now and pick up this thing for the bow. It's massive and heavy apparently. So that'll be fun. Um, so you can have a laugh at that. So we're gonna go get that now and drop that off at the boat. So among some of the weird and wonderful stuff we've picked up for the boat today, we got this. <laughs> So if you can guess what it's going to be used for, pop it in the comments. Jackie might get this, you know, because she got last time. She knew what we were going to use the boat for before we even told her. So she might get this. Go on, Jackie, have a go. <laughs> Good at <isn't> it. <laughs> you having fun, Reese? It's good, Reese. <laughs> it's so easy to wheel it as well. Now we've just we've just got all the way up here as well after going ages to pick this up and let me show you what we've just found. Hang on. Right there. Right next to where our boat is. Can't believe it. Probably could have asked for that and it'd have probably been alright. Sorted. Next things, let's go get the rest out. Well done. So, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Emma's got giggles. 
just keep saying, oh, it's not right. But um, yeah, if you've enjoyed it, drop us a comment. Leave us a comment to let us know you've enjoyed it. Um, we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week, 8pm on Monday. Write your own story. <laughs>